Hello, good morning to you. Let's do some business news updates for now. The Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Catherine Afeku, says efforts are made by her ministry to enable Parliament to pass a legislative instrument that will allow the sector to take over the tourist sites in the country to be able to develop and rehabilitate them to meet international size. This, according to her, will boost tourism and enhance revenue generation. Tourism has continued to contribute significantly to nation's development despite the lack of focus to develop the sector. The Ghana Investment Promotion Center in its third quarter performance did not record a single investment for 2017 for the tourism sector. According to the report, more than 130 projects worth $5 billion were undertaken under the tourism sector. Unfortunately, the report says nothing was generated throughout 2017. But the sector minister, Catherine Afeku, gives some glimmer of hope. She says her outfit is currently awaiting cabinet approval to secure a legislative instrument to help transform the site to meet international standards. Just two days ago, uh, a cabinet subcommittee that I'm a member of the social services uh, approved pending the main cabinet approval, a legislative instrument that allows uh, my ministry to take over the tourist sites in conjunction with the district and municipal assemblies where the site is and the traditional rulers so we can retool, rehabilitate and spruce it up to international standards. Uh, before we took over there wasn't any law or any binding legislation that enables an agency like Ghana Tourism Authority under the ministry to take over a, a site. But two events happened, one before we came in and one immediately we took over, the Bunsu accident and the Kintampo accident. And when you investigate, you realize that there is no true sense of ownership, ownership. and responsibility. Mm -hmm. So we immediately put the team together and uh, worked out an ally. And it was just approved two days ago. Mm -hmm. So that is the step that we needed the legal backing to take. So now we can put our capex into uh, rehabilitating a place like Elimina Castle or Cape Coast Castle or Christian Borg. So you have decent toilet facility. And that's an update in business. We'll bring you more business subsequent in our subsequent bulletins. My name is Imano Apuaji. We have you. Good morning. Mm -hmm.